In Bangladesh, news of a major mishap, a massive fire broke out yesterday in a Rohingya refugee camp. It destroyed 2,000 shelters and left 12,000 people homeless. It took three hours to douse the flames, but by then the damage had been done. And it heaps further misery upon the Rohingya refugees, considered one of the world's most persecuted minorities. The fire took place in the southern area of Cox's Bazar near the Bangladesh-Myanmar border. And fires are an absurdly common occurrence in Rohingya refugee camps. Between January 2021 and December 2022, there were more than 220 fires in these camps, 220 fires. 60 of these were confirmed cases of arson. The stateless Rohingya say these fires are a conspiracy to displace them again. Here's a report. <laughs> Clouds of thick black smoke rose from a Rohingya refugee camp in southern Bangladesh. They blotted out the sun, covering the camp in an apocalyptic haze. A massive fire made its way through the Cox's Bazar camp near the Bangladesh-Myanmar border. It's one of the world's largest Rohingya refugee camps. The area houses about a million Rohingyas who fled Myanmar. No deaths or injuries have been reported, but the blaze tore through about 2,000 makeshift buildings, leaving some 12,000 refugees without shelter. A massive fire has broken out here and it's spreading quickly due to the wind. We have somehow saved our lives by crossing the barbed wire fences. The refugees shuffled out of the camp as the fire destroyed their homes. Their shelters are often made of bamboo and tarpaulin, which catch fire easily. Over 200 fires have taken place in the camps over the years. The refugees are all too familiar with the routine. They gathered at the edge of the camp, waiting for the fire to subside. Many didn't have the time to save any of their belongings. I don't know how the fire started. Poultry, houses, clothes, all have been burned. I couldn't take anything out of the house. I just took shelter to save my children. It took authorities about three hours to control the fire. After the flames were doused, the refugees made their way back to the charred remains of their homes. They tried to recover any belongings that hadn't turned to ash. Many found that nothing was left. I had taken my mother to see the doctor. When I came back, everything was on fire. We couldn't even save our belongings. The Rohingyas are a Muslim-majority group who have lived in northern and eastern Myanmar for centuries. But they aren't recognized as an ethnic group in Myanmar and they are denied citizenship. They've been subjected to attacks for decades. The crisis escalated in 2017 after Myanmar's military started a brutal crackdown that left thousands dead. The military crackdown has been called genocidal and a form of ethnic cleansing. Myanmar has denied these charges. Things have reportedly gotten worse since Myanmar's military coup in 2021. Entire Rohingya villages have been razed and replaced by military installations. The refugees often don't have a home to go back to. Even if they do, Myanmar's junta has refused to allow the refugees to return. Meanwhile, tensions between refugees and locals have been high. Locals accuse the Rohingya of being illegal immigrants and putting a strain on resources. Fires have often been set in refugee camps intentionally. Bangladesh's government reported that out of the 222 fires in the refugee camps between January 2021 and December 2022, at least 60 are confirmed cases of arson. Investigations into the cause of the latest fire are underway. Many say they prefer death to going back. Where the Myanmar military is accused of conducting mass executions and gang rapes on the Rohingya.